Right. Yo, I'm live out here, man. You're uh, we're live. You really instantly live out here. That's what he did. That shit was really, but mind you, nobody was, nobody was saying like they wasn't saying pause or nothing like that back then. So you know, like it's, so it's like he really used to say that. People started saying like no homo, like when Wayne started saying it, but like I don't even know how to set a rumble on here. Understand it though, because like. We used to say like your shoes is dick. Like you had some ran down Air Force. That's not that's know, not actually know. gay though. Like, them Jones is dick, yeah, right. cousin. Like, like the, that, that's where the line comes from. Like I dick your boots. Like you know I mean? <laughs> that shit is so it's so over the top. That shit is over the top. <laughs> that shit is like that shit is over the top, bro. Just know you suck, bro. Uh. And MK, the last time we played, uh, I won a majority of the matches. MK, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you out of here. You were scared, bro. I got the matches. I played you and, and Carl. Men don't win. I know, I know the niggas live. I just raided the nigga. Shout me out for the fucking raid, you whole ass nigga. I'm be watching on my phone. I boy got the taller head cut. What does that even mean, bro? What the what <laughs> egg haircut? <laughs> like what? You know when little kids get the get the fresh cut? Like they got a toddler cut. No, bro, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about actually. That ain't got the season. <laughs> oh man. Bro, cook Can't believe man. she even still here, bro. It's not That's not bro, even bro, funny to me. I guess. Whatever you want to say. Whatever you say, Bucko. Buckaroo. Yeah, man, man. He, was just, he was just talking trash and all the other shit, man. He got me. He wanted to talk Bro, trash. you still trash. Like, I'm not even going to say see me on the grid. See, Dez, I'll say see me on the grid because he no, actually know how to play. As soon as I went on the grid, I don't want to hear nothing from y'all ever again. I don't want to hear nothing about Street Fighter 4. I don't want to hear shit. Nah, you got a better chance. You got a better chance of Street Fighter 4. Bro, I was boffing you at SF4, mind you. He couldn't even do nothing, bro. He complained about the game. Oh, you're just doing this. You're mashing this, this, and that. Like, mind you, he don't know the game, though. That's like, bro, he don't know the game. He's sitting there trying to say you're mashing. Oh, I got you out of here, Miss Vega, bro. And then when I st and then and then I stopped playing. Mind you, look, look, Carl. He was radio silent mode, bro. He didn't want to talk to me at all. He wasn't saying nothing on the mic because he was getting waxed. And then I got off the game, and then he was like, "Yo, why you getting off? You running?" Because he just won one win, so he could talk trash, bro. He's garbage. Like he trying to get one win so he could be like, "Oh, I got one, man. All this, like, bro, it wasn't gonna happen anyway." This your fucking problem, nigga. This is why you ask, because you keep talking. You don't ever want to take the time to stop talking and see what's going on and get to win. That's why I just fuck the box, you nigga. You ain't getting the fucking run back. You, you off the pedal. What is this? Crazy, like. You don't uh -huh. have to do that. You only do direct. Yeah. This freaking game. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carl, I'm this, gonna this, this nigga put the ING on it. Bro, I still bop you like anyway, the, scrub. I like the supreme pizza too. With the uh, garlic butter, uh, press. Make it How you know we got garlic butter? Because, nigga, y'all fucking lose this job. How do y'all not have the option? Everybody has the option. You're acting like I'm asking for some exotic shit, like oxtails or something. See, you, I know you got the garlic butter. Oxtails is considered to be exotic. Ah. <sighs> I would say so. But alright, yo. One, I'm being a chat, boy. You're hey, scared. You gonna end the next? Say what? Bro, this game is. It's on some stuff, bro. What to say? Is this not the thing? Oh no, you don't gotta use this thing. I forgot.
tail kind of fly. And the next to you, baby girl, I finally get my. Ooh, yeah. We letting a JJK roll. I haven't watched it, dog. I'm just playing Adam Draken. Oh man, got shanked up. There ain't no way. Spirit not be a compass or a mat. Of course it is. Never mind. What am I talking about? I ain't deep enough to get the goddamn the long shot or whatever. What the hell is that doing there? What the hell? <laughs> what are these here for, dog? Okay. It's pretty weird, man. Oh right. Hold on. It. This master quest is some stuff, bro. But I don't even know why they had this stuff in the game, bro. You may as well just. Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't get it, but. Like, why is there even a compass and a map anyway? Like, why does it even exist? I don't use it. I never do. The only thing you really use this stuff for is like the compass so that you can see whether or not you actually walked it like where you came from. Because <coughs> the room will be completely symmetrical on some bush. Like, and you don't know which door you came out of because the, both the doors you came out of look exactly the same. Like the door you came out of and the door that's to the next room look exactly the same. So you're just like, oh, what the hell am I supposed to do? But other than that, this is not useful, dog. I stand behind it. Interesting. I wonder if this water temple is gonna be so the regular water temple is already difficult to so like. Is this joint gonna be difficult? Or I feel like they gonna mess something up and make this even easier to do. Go zoom zoom. Don't lie to me. Open close and let me squeeze you tight. Good night. Can't rematch me. This nigga's just fucking jumping around with Adam and shit. Mm, interesting. What's the difference, dog? What's the difference in what? <laughs> this and the other game. Um, the dungeons are different. That's really the only difference. I don't think that the... I mean, they say the bosses. I've read that the boss is supposed to do more damage, but they don't seem like they do more damage to me. So, uh... Like, they supposed to do twice the damage or something like that. But the boss battles are exactly the same, though. It's really, like, to me... That's not really a difference. What the hell is this? Like the dungeons are different, bro. Like this stuff right here. Uh like even right here, dog. You looking at the stream. This switch right here, this switch is not here on the normal water temple. Like this this, <laughs> this is not a thing. Like 
like the switch is not a switch right here and this is one of those switches where it got to be pressed down got to be kept down the whole the entire dungeon is different every dungeon is basically different and more difficult or it's supposed to be more difficult it's definitely more uh it's I don't know how to explain. It's kinda like it's definitely more difficult because I don't know like I don't just know what to do. Feel me? Like the regular dungeons I know what to do, but these dungeons I don't know what to do. Because they structure different differently, but they're supposed to be more challenging. Which I can say that some of them are. But this was supposed to come out on uh, supposed to come out on the 64. They had this thing called the 64 DD, which translates to, I think, uh, I don't know what it translates to, but it's something about a disc, because there was supposed to be a floppy disc. It was a floppy disc expansion. Oh, that looks hilarious. You can actually look this up. Like, it was basically, it looked like another 64, but, and it was like the regular 64 went on top of this other kind of 64. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of space. Especially when you gotta have that big ass TV too. <laughs> I mean, it looked like a 64, but, you know, it really wasn't. It was freaky. I don't know how to explain. That's weird. I mean, you look up a picture, bro. 64 DD. But yeah, that joint is. That's basically what it was, bro. It's another 64. And you know how the 64 got that little thing on the bottom that you could like open up. What the hell is the point of that? Like, I guess that's what it was supposed to connect to. But I don't know if that has any other uses. But yeah, you just connect it to that. And then it was supposed to expand, I guess. It was supposed to help the games out in some type of way, maybe graphically or something like that. I don't know. But it was supposed to do something. And you were supposed to be able to use that to play the Master Quest. But it never came out on the 64. But I think they finished it. So what they did was... The hell? <coughs> you know, what they did was they just put it on here. I mean, they, when they came, this is like the GameCube joint. They put it on the cube, but it didn't come out on the on the 64. It's kind of weird, though, right? This was weird about it to me because I don't understand why it didn't come out because this is the same freaking game. <laughs> There's not a lot of differences here, bro. Only thing that's different is are these dungeons, but the dungeons are just structured differently. Like, things aren't in the same... It's, it's using the same assets, you feel me? It's definitely using the same assets. Like, I don't understand why... They needed to... I don't understand what that 64 DD thing was supposed to do, bro. Because this is really the same game. It's just that the dungeons are different like things are in different locations instead of them being in one spot they're in other spots but the overall structure of this dungeon is still the same like the same rooms everything it's just the item placement where the keys are at the enemies these things are all switched up yeah, I'll just change the room back to its original like state right here, man. It's kind of trash. Well, yeah, that just don't make sense to me. Red, this Andrew. Uh. <laughs> Bro, 
I'm really mad about Quan on the MK too though. That's really got me mad. Like I'm not even gonna play the character because he on some hentai stuff, bro. Hell is that like My man got a freaking uh, a Kraken from the nether realm that he's just opening up a portal to, like the hell? What are them niggas on, man? Y'all killed my my height for the character. Why? Don't you like space control? That's like exactly what that bitch is gonna be. Nah, bro. Why couldn't skulls just come out of the, the portal or something? Why couldn't he summon skulls on some Quan? I mean, on some uh, Shang type? Like, the hell is that? Can I come up here, or do I have to like? I'm gonna have to raise it and come up there. That's just a map, though, I'm sure. We gonna see, bro. I just don't like the tentacles. That should look corny. Like it could have been goddamn the little Shinnok bones, though. They could have did something like that. He has some. He has some. But why does he have this stuff at all? Like. <laughs> Give him the bones, bro. The skeleton hands. Those I would have been, I would have been happier with that, bro. These people are dropping the ball on this stuff. And uh, yeah, man. If we get on this podcast again. It's really what we gonna talk about, man. I mean, that's that's what I'm gonna talk about. That's what it needs to be talked about. Like, no, no, I don't mean that. I just mean like. <laughs> these fighting games and how they keep having this stupid stuff on them like the, i mean you know the 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 microtransactions dog and how they cost so much i was laughing because it's not quick jason got that last hit just oh let me go down here <laughs> bro i should have streamed a match that i played with that genius dude bro I'm trying to tell you dog i played boy enough times that dude really sucks you just be mashing, bro. Them niggas be mashing with drag. I don't care if that's how the character play or not, bro. He came in as Lamanji, bro. I killed two of his characters with Eric. And then his last character came in. What the hell am I doing? Look at you. You quit the game. Now you finna give me a free medal. Thanks. Thanks, dude. He, uh. <sighs> the bull really. The bull really got bopped though, man. I got him out of there. Cause Oh, they give you this this early? I'm surprised they even gave me this. Damn, that's a let's go. Are we out here? See you wouldn't get this till the end of the dungeon, bro. He just gave it to me right away. I'm not even I ain't got no keys. Literally have no keys, no small keys, don't got the boss key, got none of that. But yeah, nah, that dude, I literally just had Eric. Then I TOD two of his characters, bro. First character, TOD them. And the second character, I probably did the little mix I be doing, you know, the little cross up mix. Hit the ball, TOD, and his third character came. I knew he was gonna press a button for a fact, dog. I knew he was gonna press a button because the ball just be slinging with drag. Like, scrub stuff, dog. You do it every time. Just come in swinging. Jump H, soon as I hit him, and I and I, I started to go into my combo, he just quit, dog. Gave me the medal, and I got master rank. The bull made it even more sweet, though, bro. I even had to finish the combo, like, you're an idiot. <laughs> I was really wherever it said. What is it? 121? I don't know what it is. It's either 121 or it's 123. What the hell is this, bro? Stuff don't make no sense.
sense, bro. This shit is annoying. I want hella steel. That JJK over and all, dog. Is the second season done? Nah, not yet. You got like two, two or three more episodes. Bro, what was y'all talking about in the Discord too? These niggas are hype. Like, yo, did you watch it yet? And I assume y'all talking about that, cause I don't know what else y'all gonna be talking about. These dudes are awesome stuff. what y'all was talking about. Damn. Can I even make this jump? Is this a thing? Oh, it is a thing. Okay. Okay, so like, this part just makes sense. Hey, I didn't even know the water was the proper level. of this dog like this pointless oh they actually hid something there this time what is this about what the hell that sh made a noise but nothing happened back in that other room too. Look, this is what doesn't make sense about this game. Let's do Brandon is out of there, man. This dude talking about he really 100% of the game you use the guide because this game is considered to be one of the best of all time you want to experience it like that like stuff don't make sense bro because it's really no point like right because like okay here's the thing these little skulls that you get in the game it's a hundred of them, whatever, whatever. Uh, so I think ten of them you get. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to think. I think ten of them you get the. Uh, you get the wallet. You get the adult wallet, which is what I have right now. Which is, extends your thing to two hundred, so you get your. Extend the little currency to 200 instead of 99, right? Bang. Mm -hmm. Hell. Oh, it's a freaking fairy. What the hell is the other one, though? Hold on, hold on. What does this do? What the hell? Okay. 
Oh, because they moving too fast, so you wouldn't be able to actually walk up here like the regular thing. That makes sense. And then they got more. What does this do? Anything? It's just kind of plain to be. Anyway, like I was saying, this extends your wallet, whatever. Uh, from 99, it extends your, your currency capacity from 99 to 200. And the other one, the giant wallet, you get it. Uh, you need to get 30 skulls to get that one, I believe. That's all you really need. I don't know what you get. You get something for 40 and something for 50. And then when you get all 100 of them, you get the freaking... The hell is that thing anyway? When you get the... Damn, bro. Like, when you get the... When you get a hundred of them, you get uh, the dude... When the curse is broken, the dude is gonna give you a... Like, he's gonna give you a rupee that's, like, worth 200. And you could just leave and come back and he won't give you 200 more. You basically just got an infinite supply of money. But it's not really worth you grinding to get that infinite supply of money. Like you really, and I mean, what I mean by grinding, I would say it doesn't even matter what you do. Like it really don't matter whether you look it up or not. Whether you look it up or not, it's just really not worth it to do that. Because, I mean, if you figured that all out, if you figured out all the skull locations by yourself, I mean... Shout outs to you. That's an achievement within itself. But that's like this dude freaking Keith getting all the, the hidden packages in GTA 3, bro. You just played the game that much. But no, it's on some stuff where I'm not about to sit there and get all these skulls again. You got me messed up. It don't do nothing, dog. Like, you don't need an infinite supply of money. Plus, you can get an infinite supply of money without doing that dog and that's the stuff that I like about this game on some Dark Souls type stuff I like the fact that you know you could like exploit the game and stuff like that if you know what to do well it's not really an exploit but like for example like I said this shield that I have the Hillian shield right the little adult link this little metal shield you can get this for free but the game kind of encourages you to buy it. When you talk to the little guard dude, he gonna be like, I give you a discount. After you talk to him, he gonna s tell you that you need it to get up Death Mountain. And the game encourages you to buy it. They like, okay, you should buy it or whatever. Like basically he's like, oh, I give you a discount. When you go to the store, then you can buy it. And, you know, it's going to be discounted. You're not going to have to pay the price that you would have paid if you bought it beforehand without talking to the bull. Or before you talk to the bull. Because you basically have to talk to him. But, you can get the shield for free in a chest. So there, I'm pretty sure there's multiple chests that just have it. So, But, yeah, if you know exactly where it is. It's just, I didn't know where it was. Because... I had already went in that chest. I had already bought it and then went in the chest, but. Because, like, if you, I, I didn't know it was there because when I go in that room where it's at, like, if you go in that room and you already bought it and you already have one in your inventory, then that chest is just going to give you rupees. So you wouldn't know. As long as you already have the shield, it's just going to give you rupees instead of giving you the shield. You wouldn't know that it's there. You could just get it for free. But that's why I didn't know. And you got to do it for an achievement. But that's what I'm saying. Stuff like that that makes the game godlike, dog. Instead of you paying the actual currency, you just get that for free if you know what you're doing. Like the money thing. This guy. What? Like the money thing. Uh, it's kind of like that in Shimu as well. Like you can gamble in Shimu. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's like that in the first game, but you could definitely gamble in Shimu. 
And Shenmue 2, that's what's, what's God like about the game, though. You can just gamble and get a bunch of money, though. <laughs> But the, it's a it's a bunch of different ways you can get money in that game. though. you could uh like you can like get jobs. And you could work an actual jobs like a little mini game, quick time event type thing where you move in boxes on at a like a freaking like some warehouse type stuff, bro. These dudes are at a port moving boxes. But like, yeah, you already know what to do. Just get a little bit of money. There's so many different ways to make money in here, though. You can sell those little figurines that the game gives to you. Those little uh things that come out the little vending machine thing. Those little gotcha things. <laughs> I like some, uh, got like the ones with the Sega characters on there and stuff like that. I don't know if they have Shimu characters. Maybe they do. I don't remember that, but they got like Sonic and they all have different, different, like, you know, value. So you could sell them for more stuff that they're at. They have like different, depending on how rare they are in the game, then you could sell them for more. Like I'm pretty sure the supersonic joint, like stuff like that, it's gonna be a lot. Versus you just selling, they got the, like I said, they got the virtual fighter characters in there because it's on some Sega stuff. It's actually got like. You could literally gamble. This, I'm curious though, bro, because the. The third game still seems to work like that, dog. It's on some stuff where you could still exploit the game. I have to play that because, yeah. You could just save the game and then game. I always save. It's on some, uh, it's like that. It's like, it's like what I'm doing on that game is like betting big or small, dog. I mean, it's like, it's bet betting big or small, but it's like playing, uh, it's like playing, what you call it, dog? Man, I wouldn't be able to come in here if I don't have the thing. Couldn't raise the water and then come in here. But it's like um It's like playing roulette, dog. You're you're betting on either red or black. Like you just bet all on red or black. It's basically what I'm doing. And then I'm max betting on one of them, and then after I max bet on one, if I don't get it, then I'll just reload the game until I do. Until I get it, then I'll save the game. <laughs> And then just keep doing it, dog, until you got a bunch of money. What the fuck? But it seems like you could just still save the game over and over what again. Can you, what can you spin it on? Uh, I mean, you're supposed to need money in certain parts of the game. Like, you're supposed to need money in order to stay where you at, bro, in a freaking some type of apartment or something like that but apparently but you could say no to paying him and he don't even kick you out though i thought he was gonna kick you out but apparently he doesn't kick you out but you need money for certain things like to travel to different places that you have to go and stuff like that you also need a bunch of money at one point in the game i don't know what it is like ten thousand i think that game is set in hong kong so hong kong dollars well Bro, you in my chat, like, you could have proved that I, if, if I suck, and you could have proved it when we play, we could have played more matches, like, Will was trying to troll in the chat, but you're a cuck, though, like my man Dad said. Don't make me play the clip, dog. Cars is a cuck now. Bro, this doesn't make sense, bro. Do I need Den's fire? It wouldn't make sense for me to need Den's fire. <sighs> so 
about to annoy me, bro. Bro, that's not 10 love. That's not how that works. You're an idiot. You're just saying stuff. How does that even work on uh on tennis, bro? Is that that's not that that would make it ten ten, bro. So you just keep saying some bull. Ain't that how it works? When you say love, ain't that? Is that not how it works? Be certain that's how it works, bro. Like I'm almost positive that's how this shit works. <laughs> like if you say love, like to love, don't that mean that like like in tennis, don't it mean? And like the other person also has two of these is a tie when you say love. This thing is just saying 10 love. <laughs> Pretty sure he knows this. He's just saying some stupid stuff. Bro, this game is stupid, bro. I don't even feel like playing this. It's just stupid for the sake of being stupid. Like, what is this, bro? Like, mind you, when I go to the ferry, right? This looks like... It looks like you need 10 fire, 10, some 10 fire, bro you're weird like, like I said man you ain't gotta do nothing, it's like I'm, it's like I'm playing a buki bro, it's just like this dude Mesu thinks he's good and all that, like yeah okay bro, you really think you're good, I really don't think the bull is good at the game man, you're not better than me, you're just beating me on some stupid mechanics in the game, like I gotta deal with dry brush and I gotta deal with DIs that mind you, these niggas throw out random, it's like a focus attacks in the game literally bro, it's like the focus is back. Oh man, you got frozen. It's over, boy. Just gonna just give you a bunch of stupid stuff. You <laughs> said, man, two cheeks, you're nice. I just don't think, like, yeah, I just don't think he's good based off of that performance and being me. I don't know how good he is. I'm just saying, he's sitting there. I'm talking trash to him. He's like, oh, like. Like, I'm nice, like, bro. Really? You're really nice, bro? There's nothing fundamental about what you're doing. The character is just stupid. Drive rush is stupid. You're throwing out DIs randomly in neutral, and you're hitting me because the buttons, the limbs that I press, I can't DI you back. Because I don't have the frames to do so. But... You could press hella buttons, any button with DJ basically, bro. You could press all these buttons. Can you do this with specials? You could do this with specials too, right? Just count, just just counter off a special. That stuff's stupid. Like Honda could do it with the head, but right. Why well, is the stuff in the game like? This dude is dry rushing with Kimberly, and then he's just plus. Like I can't do nothing about. I have to really sit there and block that stuff. I got no reversal. That's why, Carl, you should really be doing, when we play, you should really be doing a lot better than you do, man. You shouldn't be. You got to abuse that dry brush, bullshit. There's really nothing I can do about that. And I ain't even saying it like these dudes be saying. You know how they be. Like, oh, Carl, man, you should be way better. And you know how Dez was. Like, I ain't even, it's not even like that. I'm just saying a drive rush should make you way better against him. You should be abusing the hell out of this. That's just stupid, man. I can't even do nothing. I'm in a plus situation after plus situation. Bro, this is stupid, bro. Look, because I came to this stupid dungeon. Because after this dungeon, I should be able, I should in theory be able to get the fire arrows, right? But because it seems like you need fire arrows for the fire temple just to even get into the temple. Bro, I can't make it past the first room in the temple, it seems like, without fire arrows. I tried to like, and I don't have Den's fire because when you go to the ferry, they don't give you Den's fire. Like, I literally do the damn thing, and they don't give you nothing, bro. They don't give you no, like, type of abilities, man. What the hell is the song of time? Where, where's the teleport song? This doesn't make any sense, by the way. <sighs> like, 
Like, I don't like to be confused like this, bro. All these dungeons, you should just be able to... I don't even know why they changed certain things. Why did y'all change the... Uh, like, why did they change the fairies and the way that they work? Like, I don't like that. I'm going into these places where I would be getting abilities, right? But I'm not getting anything from these fairies. I entered the um, Zelda's Lullaby and it just does it does nothing. And you need some type of fire to light these torches for these dungeons, bro. I don't have any type of fire. I don't have fire arrows and I don't have Den's fire. And the game is not really explaining anything. It's pretty dumb. The temples are already annoying as they are. Like, I can't even do nothing because... Oh, you need fire. But you don't have any fire abilities. I thought they just removed this stuff. Like, I just can't use it because... Like... I'm thinking they just removing the abilities and they're not allowing you to use this stuff. Let me see, man. I mean, technically, I have the long shot, though. I could go to freaking Gerudo's Fortress, though. Right? Technically, I could. But what do you get from doing that? I'm trying to think. Don't get anything. I can go the other way, but going the other way is not going to help me out. Unless... They're out of there, bro, with this order of events type stuff. The, the game... I, hold on, I gotta mess with this. I have to mess with it. Like, if this game is on some stuff where they want me to go all out of my way, like, if they really want me to go to the thing... They want me to go, they want me to, go to the water temple, right? Not complete it. Just go to the water temple just to get the hook shot. Take the hook shot to Gerudo's Fortress. Just so I can get whatever that other thing is, right? Get the freaking pass... Just so I can go there and open up that, that secret wall. Just so I, if that fairy is the one that gives you dense fire, I'm going to be like, yo, this get, they're bugging. That's like. <laughs> they're just, they're doing too much. But nah, this version of the game is basically just the same game though this is on some stuff where if you play the game a bunch of times you should play this you definitely shouldn't play this first and this is not how i thought i didn't think this stuff was going to be this this like challenging type stuff because this stuff is so challenging like people were saying that the game this is the definitive version of the game you should play this version of the game uh like this is what the game is and you should play this version of the game that doesn't make sense to me you should not play this first like this is a little you gonna be super super confused like they got cows sticking out of the wall on dungeons or some random sh and then <laughs> like what the hell is that man let me see let me play the song at time what is it See, right? It doesn't make sense. If I play the lullaby, nothing happens. This is where you would get dense fire, and I definitely need fire to do things in these dungeons, bro. And this is why it doesn't make sense. I need fire in places I didn't even need fire before, like, but I've never needed fire at.
Like, I'm cool with doing the dungeons as is, but they're just, they're doing too much of this type of stuff, bro. Like, I really can't even, I can't even really start these dungeons and even, like, begin to do them for real, for real, bro. The water temple or the fire temple, I can't even do either one of those dungeons simply because you need fire for both of them, and I 